Hi guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet. Welcome back to the channel and my furry feline raven is on the floor, out of arm's reach, staring at me. I'm depriving her of attention apparently, but she has just been on the couch with me for a couple of hours. We've been watching Netflix. I was talking on the phone to a couple of my friends. So I'm just popping in real quick. Well, kind of real quick. I'm trying to keep it under 20 minutes. I've got a pizza in the oven. Um, I haven't been doing much with yarn, except for a smidge of crochet, you know, with everything that's been going on with me this past month. One of my best friends passing away, going to his funeral, um, drama at work, um, drama with my mother, blah, 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 blah. Um, there is an update with one of my friends, however. She just found out that two days ago she was diagnosed with lung cancer. So I wanted to bring her to y'all's attention. Her name is M. I have mentioned her in a few of my videos. She is the one that bought me my Christmas tree and my Addy, uh, my Addy King Express loom machine. And that big giant box of, um, yarn and hooks and, and the hook pouch and all the patterns and magazines that she sent to me in a box. Um, she threw in some Christmas presents in there. This is pretty much a box that she had collected for like four or five months um, because she's been so sick with pneumonia and everything she hadn't been able to go to the post office and mail it out so she just had all this time um, to accumulate all this stuff for me. <clears throat> so she's been very 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 sweet and so kind to me. I couldn't ask for a better yarny friend. Um, I do talk with a few other yarny friends and the more yarny friends the better um if i have not responded to your email i deeply apologize with everything that's been going on with me um i know a lot of you are here for um here to listen i'm, I'm tired of talking about it i will give you a cliff notes version and when we discuss things but i don't want to go into thorough details anymore um i spend a week or so um stressed out about those things and then after a week, I'm like, it's time to move on. Like, like I've grieved and, and suffered pain, mental pain and stressed out enough about it now. I've vented. It's, it's time to move on. The show must go on. As Eddie Mercury sings, it's time. It, the show must go on. So my friend M, she has lung cancer. I, I really hope that, um, a lot of you will pray for her. Please keep her in your prayers. Um, as, as long as you can remember um, she's very young. She's in her, she's in her mid fifties. She does live here in the States. Um, and her name is M. That's pretty much all I can tell you because she needs her privacy, but, um, she's very dear to me and, um, I'm really sad that she's got lung cancer. Um, it's, I, from what I've learned, um, lung cancer is the worst kind of cancer you can have. Um, and she knows a lot about this stuff. A lot about nursing in general, um, um, but um, still, I mean, this is a big deal. So anyways, um, with that being said, um, the smidge of crochet I've been doing, I'm, my hook is still in here. I'm using a five millimeter clover and I'm just doing a granny stitch. This is pretty much a granny, a big giant granny square. And then after about, it has to be an odd number of rows so that you have an even amount of spaces. Um, and stop on an odd row, five, seven, nine, eleven, however big of a bottom that you want your bag to be. And then in the very, very center of each of the four sides, you put a stitch marker in the center, in the center space. That's why you need an odd number of rows so that you'll have an even amount of space holes in between each granny cluster. So you put your stitch marker in the very center of each side and you skip that. You do your basic granny square, cluster stitches all the way around. You do your corners, keep going. But those very center stitches, spaces where the stitch markers are, you skip that space. And then as you skip over it and don't crochet into it, it builds up sides. Now I have previously made bags like these. This is pretty much my favorite bag pattern. This can be a great market tote bag. Um, you can make a smaller version. You can make like a like a like a small handbag. You can make a big beach bag. Use cotton yarn. You could use it as beach bag and take it take it to the pool with you. This one is for my scooter. I'm gonna make a handle on it. I'm I'm almost done. Once I do three more rounds of the multicolor version, 
I will be adding um, the the fuchsia color back on. It's kind of dark in the camera. And the yarn I'm using is Red Heart Super Saver in the multicolor. I cannot remember the. Let me go grab the yarn real quick because I just have it somewhere. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway Antique. One of my favorite colorways in Red Heart Super Saver. Gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. You can buy these. Well, I bought these from Walmart, um, but I had to go back and order some online. Those colors just so gorgeous. Oh, I'm like looking at it on my screen. So pretty. So it's like, it's like a fuchsia burgundy teal cream some brown and taupey and taupes mixed in very very gorgeous color steam and i took the salt i found a solid color from red heart super it's not red heart super saver because it's actually much softer but this yarn will soften up once i wash and dry it but i picked out the fuchsia eggplant color in this and i found a solid and the same brand red heart it's just not super saver it's red heart i love this yarn from hobby lobby and I don't have a ball band for that. I don't know where it is, but this is the color. So I have no idea where that came from. <laughs> Dollar General metal detector label thingy. That's what makes the machines beep off when you walk out with unpaid merchandise. Um, but yeah, that's the color I'm using um, to offset it. I'm doing three rows um, with each color change. And once I do, let's see, I've got... I've got nine rows for the for the bottom piece and then I put the four stitch markers in skipping the very center spaces on each side and I've done how many rows up One, two, three thirteen one I'm gonna do about 14 rows up 15 rows I don't have an exact count because I'm just doing literally every three rows I do so I did three rows of fuchsia three rows of multi three rows of fuchsia and then I put the stitch markers in and skipped the centers. And then, so one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm on thirteen. I'm on row thirteen right now. So once I finish row fifteen, I will add the handles on. And when I do the handles, all you do is just do a single crochet. You join these two ends, single crochet, and then you chain. I chain like thirty or something single crochet and then you join these two sides together so that way when you're done you have handles but anyways there's a video on how to do this I will leave that linked below I have previously mentioned this video months ago and I and I have linked that in, in earlier videos but I'll bring the link up in the description box so it'll be easier for you guys to find if you are interested in making your own bag but I put this on my scooter, I have the two handlebars, and then the stem piece, there's an LED light right here, then my handlebars, the hand, the handle just goes right over the handlebars, and it sits right in front of my, right in front of the scooter, below the LED light, and right in front of the stem, and I put my scarf in here, my hat, gloves, if it's cold outside, and then I also put, um, like, if, if it's not cold outside, I don't need that stuff, I have this pretty much just empty. And I use it for when I go to the grocery store or something. I can put food in here. Um, or if I go through a fast... I have actually gone through a fast food restaurant. Through the drive through on my electric scooter. Yes, I did. And it was so much fun. Now, I'm not large enough to make the um, menu thingy beep, you know. Because it there's like a sensor for cars. So that the people inside know that, hey, there's someone there needing to order. I'm not large enough for that detection to happen so it's fine no big deal I just wait in line and, and when it's my turn at the window I place my order there at the window no big deal um it was fun I did it after work one night I, I think I went through McDonald's and just scooted on home so I went to Dollar General I had to get a few things I was telling my friends about some soaps and stuff my Hirschner's catalog also came in the mail today Yay, I'm excited about that and, and so I'm going to leave a link li listed below. It's from um, My Little Homestead. She has like 139,000 subscribers plus. So many people like her because she is great about teaching teaching people how to save money 
on their normal everyday household products. She makes laundry soap for under $10. She has like $8 invested in her, in her material soaps that she buys, her powders, her washing soda, her borax, her baking soda, all that stuff. $8 worth of soaps. She mixes it up. It lasts her 9 to 12 months long because it's a concentrated formula. I'm not joking. And you cannot beat spending less than $10 on almost a year's worth of laundry soap. I was floored. That's why she has so many subscribers. Secret ingredient. So I bought this for a dollar twenty-six. Zote. A dollar twenty-six at Walmart. And I also got a Fells Naffa bar, which was a dollar. I don't know if you can see that clearly. This is from today. There's the date. Today's Friday. <clears throat> Today's Friday. The 28th, 2022. It's from today. $1.26 for 400 grams. Look how big this bar of soap is. Huge. And then the Phil's Napa bar was only a dollar. And I have discussed this before. This is these both are really great stain lifting bars. Now, <clears throat> one thing is, you see how small the Phil's Napa bar is compared to the Zote? I'm gonna this is my last bar of Phil's Natha that I think I will ever buy, but it's really depending on personal preference on which bar of soap you like best. Um, but you do get twice as much in the Zote and only paying 26 more per bar. That's amazing. 142 grams, this is labeled. This is 400 grams. You're getting more than twice as much for 26 cents more. This is my last bar of Phil's Natha. She says in her video, I don't remember her name, but... Her um, My Little Homestead, that video is linked below. She states in here that if you did not use Zote and you use Phil's Naffa instead, you would need three of those to equal one bar of Zote. So $3 versus $1.26. I will take the Zote bar any day. It also has a whitener in it, just like the Phil's Naffa bar. This is um, safe for delicate clothes. And you know when you need um, washing... Um, laundry soap for delicate loads. That's also what you need for baby clothes, which also has less borax or no borax in it at all. But this says it is a high quality laundry soap and can be confidently used for washing your family clothes. It is good for darks, colors, whites, and baby clothes. It has a brightener and it doesn't make your darks fade away. You can use this for your darkest blue jeans to your brightest, whitest t-shirts. And it will do amazing things. And this is actually the first bar of soap that I've ever used, um, that I've ever bought. I've never personally used it. So I am partially quoting the lady at Homestead. Um, but um, she also claims that this bar of soap smells really, really good. I can smell it a little bit through the label. And I can tell it does smell good. You can buy this at Walmart. Um, big lots. Um, she listed off a, a number of places where you can buy this, but you can also get it from Amazon, eBay, Zote themselves. They have a website, Zote.com, I would presume. Um, but, uh, she grates this up in, in a blender with, with your fine powders, your baking soda and your washing soda and your borax, just a little bit of powder in there mixed with this. It'll keep the bar of soap from gumming up the blades. If you want to try this out, put this in the microwave for about a minute to soften it up. Cut it up with a butcher knife into smaller chunks to make it easier on your blender machine, or you can use a food processor, or you can use a standard cheese grater. Like, I bought this thing for a dollar. I'm not going to be using this anymore. I mean, I'm not going to be using it now because I have a food processor and a blender. And plus, once I rinse out the powder and the, and the Zote soap and just put it put some hot water in there and run the machine again. I pretty much have cleaned my machine pretty quickly. Um, but I'm going to grate about one quarter of this up. She uses this whole thing and with her recipe mixture, she makes a five gallon, a five gallon jug or five gallon bucket. I should say that's what she uses of laundry soap. And it's a concentrated formula. So when she stores it in bottles, that five gallon bucket becomes 10 gallons. She just adds a whole bunch more hot water to dilute the solution a little bit 
And then all you need out of that diluted solution for each load of laundry is maybe half a cup. No. Um, excuse me, that's way too much. You don't need half a cup. What did she say? Like a tablespoon or something? Or maybe like an eighth of a cup? That's all you would need, an eighth of a cup or something. That's like very minimal. That's why your laundry soap can last for so long when you make it in concentrated formulas and you make so much. But for me, just for me in my own home, like I'm not making this um, for a large household. So I will probably just use one quarter of this and that'll last me for like two or three months um, because I don't have a lot of space to store stuff either. And I like to make the liquid version versus the powdered version because the liquid version, unlike the... Unlike the patterned version, it doesn't scratch up the inside of my, of my machine. I have a delicate machine made out of plastic that I use here um, in my apartment. Um, I prefer to wash everything in cold water because not only does it save energy on the environment, but cold water does not set in stains like heat does. And let's see what else, what else, what else. It doesn't leave little clumps of... of soap and 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 uh, laundry particle articles left on my clothes and I don't have any clumps of soap left in my machine either so and because I use cold water cold water doesn't dissolve things like hot water does and I can't use hot water in my machine because it is made out of plastic I don't want to melt my plastic I can use warm water I just use like a lukewarm water maybe like a, a little bit hotter not too hot but I typically wash all my large towels and blankets at the big laundromat and I use hot water there. And then for my smaller clothes, my, my work clothes, my regular everyday wearing clothes, my socks, my delicates, every, all that stuff gets washed here. Even my washcloths, all my small stuff pretty much gets wash, washed here. So I'm, from, for me, I'm going to be using one quarter of this um, and that'll be enough for me. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. I did buy these to mix in as well. You can put mix in some hot water and dissolve these into your soap if you want to. Or if you want to make the powdered version, you can grind this up in your food processor or your blender. I will have uh, the links below. Like I said, she has the liquid the liquid version and then she has a powdered version. So it's your whatever preference you have. I also like to add in a little bit of Dawn soap just for ex ex extra you know stain fighting power. But you don't need very much of this in. I put it in maybe like one third of this bottle and because the soap is pink it's going to turn this into purple soap so that'll be pretty and that's pretty much all i got for laundry i had to get some gloves and i like my yogurt covered pretzels the, or the white chocolate these are so good um, it doesn't matter the brand as long as they're yogurt uh, yogurt pretzels and then my pizza's done let me go pull that out of the oven real quick guys hang on Pull my pizza out. Hang on. Do I smell so good? I got a three meat pizza I just pulled out of the oven. Who's hungry? <laughs> okay. Sorry guys. Okay, I'm back. Pizza's out. The cheese. The, it needs to cool off anyway. I don't like to slice it right out of right out of the oven because the cheese will just kind of slide off into the middle. So I like to let it set for a few minutes. It cools off. And I can cut it and just eat it right away. Anyways, um, I've been watching these planning these planner videos, um, and I need to get one so that I can become more organized as well. And I found. They didn't have a lot at Dollar General, but I did find these letter stickers that I can use for my planner notebook. So I will be more, more better organized with what videos I want to do. And whenever I start, um, you know, doing stuff for the shop or whatever, I haven't even opened it yet, but it will be soon. I don't know when, but soon. But um, I can just keep track of everything. I can keep track of my work schedule. Um, I can write down important birthdays or whatever, so, um, that way I'll be prepared for upcoming events, all that stuff. And then I got a couple of cards. I'm going to be mailing some stuff to people and that's pretty much all I got. I got some treats for Raven. She likes these pounce treats because they're soft. 
and I got her some cat treats that are crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, and they, they're they flavored like catnip. So she likes those. Um, I'm working on that crochet bag. I'm almost done. This is my temperature blanket. I only got three temperatures down because, you know, like I said, with everything that I've been going that I've been going through this past month, I haven't been doing a lot of crochet. I've been doing um, more YouTube. I've been watching so many videos on YouTube about America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, The Voice, um, American Idol, all those videos I've been watching are so uplifting to hear people sing and to see people's talents. And I've been watching stand-up comedy. That's been helping me mentally a lot. Um, this is my next color. This is Premier Basics. I'm using the worsted weight yarn. This is eggplant. This is my next color. I'll be adding this on either tonight or tomorrow. And then, um, and then I, I have another, I have a scarf I need to, I need to finish that goes with this hat. This is Premier Chamonix. I did, I showed you guys in one of my previous videos. I did 10 rows in each color on the loom and it's reversible. And, um, I think it's really pretty on, on either side, but, um, I need to make a scarf to go with this so I can mail that off. Um, so anyways, that's all I've got for now. My pizza's smelling amazing right now. I just got a three meat pizza and like a two cheese blend or, or whatever, whatever. So I'm going to go grub on that and relax now and maybe watch a movie or something. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Happy Friday night, Saturday morning, wherever you're, whenever you're watching this. And, um, don't forget about Saturday morning cartoons. I think about those every weekend. I used to watch Saturday morning cartoons all the time. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Saturday morning cartoon was or is. Um, mine, my favorite Saturday morning cartoons was um, the Animaniacs on Warner Brothers. The Animaniacs! And then I also liked Looney Tunes and um, Pinky and the Brain, Scooby-Doo. You can't go wrong with Scooby-Doo. I'm a huge fan of Scooby. Um, and then uh, there's prob probably a few others. I used to watch the Flintstones all the time. The Jetsons. Um, let me know what your favorite cartoons are or were. And again, please pray for my friend M and her lung issues. Um, and if you have anyone that you would like for me to pray for, leave them in the comments. Just give me like a Cliff Notes version of maybe the person's first name and and what they're going through, what they need prayers for. If you want to, you can email me. If you want to be more thorough and descriptive and more private, you can email me, ravenscrochet21 at gmail.com. I know I need to get up to par on my emails, and I will be doing that tomorrow night and the next night. So I apologize for being behind on my emails, but... I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm mentally back and I'm back in the swing of things. I'm in much better spirits. Um, my friend M is feeling better tonight, even though she's coughing her A off. Um, please pray for her guys. And let me know if you want me to pray for somebody and I will put them on my prayer list. Mwah. I love you guys. Um, oh, and by the way, I, I will remind you one more time. I will be doing a giveaway for my subscribers only, um, for Valentine's. I want to mail it off. I probably won't be able to mail off a giveaway box until mid-February, like around Valentine's. But rest assured, I will be doing an awesome giveaway for Valentine's. And I got so many cute little things to put in there. Um, so please spread the love. Like this video. Um, subscribe if you haven't already um, so that you can stay in the know. Because when I release my giveaway video, it's not, it's not going to be titled giveaway. So, um... Yeah, I'm so excited. I get to do another giveaway soon. Ah. Okay, bye. I gotta go eat. Bye. Mwah. There's Raven. Wanna say bye, Raven? Wanna say bye, Raven? I'm gonna take... Wanna say bye, Raven? Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. She's like, whatever. Okay, bye.